Hey everybody. So if you get your pencil and your paper ready, I'm going to try to teach you step by step how to draw Jiminy Cricket. <laughs> Alright, so welcome back everybody. Let's see what we can do now. Normally I hold my paper in landscape. It's just easier, but for this picture we're going to move it to portrait. Okay? So right in the center of your page, I want you to draw me an oval. Like that. Sorry, like that, an oval. Okay? And then right down the middle, you draw a guideline like we always do, like that. And then about three quarters of the way down, we're going to draw a horizontal line. So, so far you have that. Alright, right in the center, we're going to start with his nose, and we're going to make a a very round shape, like a valley, like that. Okay. Now we're going to build his cheeks. His cheeks are two S curves, which, if you've seen the other videos, an S curve is just a curve that goes in two different directions. Throw one on either side of the nose, like that. Okay. Then we're just going to connect from one cheek to the other with a nice, happy smile. like that and then we're going to bring that smile down we're going to create that hammock shape just another U shape like that inside two rolling hills make a tongue <laughs> one behind the other like that and then we're going to have to flare his chin when I say flare it means that the line doesn't just stop it's sort of flares out, you'll notice how the line comes up and flares, comes up and flares like that. Okay? Now, we're going to follow the guide of the cheeks that we made, where his dimples are, and we're going to create the top of his cheek on either side. Not, not very complicated, like that. So it looks like somebody laughing with their eyes closed. But then, with a bent line, we're going to start building one eye. So there's the cheek, and then on top of the cheek I built that bent line up. And then a bent line back down. We'll do the same thing on the other side, a bent line up. So you see how I brought the bent line down? And then I started the next one with a bent line up. Because it's not a straight line, it's a bent line. When it's done, it should look like two surfboards stuck in the sand. Try to get them about the same size. And his very round pupils will be on the inside corner, like that. Okay, the next step are going to be the outside of his cheeks. Now that we have his chin, we have a place for the cheeks to finish. So we come outside the circle and then right back in again. See? Outside the circle and right back in again. Like that. Do the same thing on the other side. Just above the cheek that the eye rests on. Make a really nice shape like that. You see how he's starting to get a little rounder. Now above his head, above his eyes rather, we're going to come up and make cricket eyebrows. So it's almost like a check mark. It's not completely round. And we'll do the same thing on this side. It's always good to follow along your original circle, your guide circle, to help you. That's what it's for. Always let your circle be your guide. That's Jiminy, right? Always let your conscience be your guide. And then we'll just continue to finish down along the circle to finish his head. Like that. Okay? Now Jiminy has like antenna, which we use sort of as hair. And I'm just going to put two quick strokes like that. And you could call that your Jiminy Cricket, but we're going to go ahead and continue. What we're going to do is, above his head, we're going to come up about, I don't know, a half inch or so. And don't let it, don't be confused by the hair. We're going to make a nice U-shape, just like we did for his nose, but bigger. Because we're going to start building his hat. 
So for me, it goes like that. Don't be confused by the hair. It's behind the hair. And then we're going to come down from one side all the way down very round here. This is the brim of his hat. So we come down and connect right to his cheek on the one side. And come down and connect right behind his cheek on the other side. And that's pretty nice. Let me just lean on this and make it a little darker. So I'm sculpting it out. Don't be afraid of these big shapes. Always draw a light. You can go back darker. So now we have that. It's a brim. Now we want to give that some thickness. So I'm going to come inside and you'll notice I've added this line here. I'm going to follow that around. Just contour around the shape of the brim of the hat. And finish it on the other side just like we did on the left. We do on the right. We give our work that symmetry, like that. So you see how it has this thick, like little brim, little edge actually. Now the top part, the top hat part of his hat, the stove top part, we just build with three lines, three bent lines, like this and this. Okay. Now there's a little brim. Or a band rather that goes around his hat. You might have a hard time seeing this, but it's right there. I just connected the gap between our little valley here with that the band around his hat. And then the little highlight is always a nice touch, especially for top hats. So if you were to shade it in, you would leave this part white. This part right here would be left white, and everything else in the hat would be shaded in. And I'll quickly just slide my pencil through the shape to show you. I'll also put a little highlight in his eyes and give him a little life. I quickly refer back to my model sheet. Shade some areas in. Now he has like a little definition on his nose and a couple little lines on his face. You'll notice I just put a little definition on his nose. I didn't really shade it in, just some quick lines. Two lines in the middle just to give a shape some his nose from shape. And then of course you could shade in if you shade in the same direction you could shade in the underneath of the, the brim of his hat just to give it a little see just quickly. Now he wears an ascot which is a very fancy tie. So that shape's sort of like a heart underneath his mouth because it's around his neck so you won't see much of his neck. So I'm going to show you that shape like that. And to show the definition that it's tied very tight, there'd be some wrinkle lines in the fabric. So I just add them there and there. Okay. Now we're going to build like his tuxedo. So we come down from his ascot. And we're going to build his shirt. Basically just three lines. One, two, three. Underneath the ascot. Which helps us create his vest. So under his ascot, I'm just going to create a little V. See, under his ascot, I just created a little V shape. And then a nice little button. He's got like a big brass button on his shirt. So we're just going to put it in an oval right there. And then we're almost done. What we have to do now is bring out his coat. So there's one collar, just a V shape that comes out and comes back. Just watch the placement. It comes out from behind his cheek and it comes back to the top of the ascot, basically. Have fun with it. Be loose with it. And now we can build his lapel. We'll just come out and back in, out and back in, like a less than and greater than sign. See? This would be less than and this would be greater than. Or just V's. Then we come out again and we kind of sculpt it down to give it that full lapel shape. There and there. Okay. Very clever. And now just a little suggestion of a shoulder. One here and one here. That's all. I just added a suggestion of a shoulder there and there. And we're going to call that done because this is just about 10 minutes long. All right, guys. That's Jiminy Cricket. So I'm going to sign my work, Timmy Britt, T-I-M-B-R-I-T-T. -T. It's 2011.
So I cross my T's and dot my I's. And there you have it. That real quick Jiminy Cricket. Keep practicing with it. Alright, thank you guys. Tune in next. I think we're going to do uh, the little kitten Marie from the Aristocats. Alright, well thanks a lot. Bye. Hi Sammy. <laughs>